hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly cash stuffing in today's video guys we are going to be stuffing my everyday spending envelopes my high priority sinking funds and my two-year long savings challenges in addition to that guys we are going to be going over last week's this or that question of the week so if you guys are interested in checking that out then please keep watching happy 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 thursday guys i hope all is well thank you guys so much for joining me for another weekly cash stuffing now if you are new to my channel hello my name is raquel but you can call me ray on this channel we do all things budgeting cash stuffing saving and paying off debt so if you are into that type of content then please go ahead and join the family by hitting that subscribe button we would love to have you here and if you are a returning family member hey guys hey i hope all is well Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for rolling with your girl. I really appreciate all of you. Now, as you guys can see, I have my, my um, budget book out. So what we are going to do first, guys, is go over my previous week's spending. We are going to do my weekly check-in. Then we're going to go ahead and get into stuffing these envelopes. Okay, guys, I have you guys um, zoomed in so you can see what's going on with my expense tracking that I have going on. Now, this tracking is from July 5th through July 11th. So let's go ahead and go over what I spent for the previous week. Now, on Friday, um, me and my grandson went to Kosai and... Um, the Coastside tickets, y'all, they were so expensive to me. I did not know they were going to be this expensive, but it is what it is. $89.25. Now, that came out of our general fund. And let me just tell you guys really, really quick. We had a ball at Coastside. Our main reason for going was to um, go to the Titanic exhibit. Guys, it was totally, totally awesome. And it was, it was so worth the extra... 10 or 15 dollars that i had to pay per ticket in order to see it but that that was awesome we really really enjoyed it we had to pay for parking that came out of the general fund that was ten dollars we got some food um my grandson got some of those dipping dipping dots ice cream and i got some popcorn that was 10 50 and then um i'm gonna skip the rail for a minute also at Kosai, we just did this stimulation thing. It was $5 a piece for a total of $10. That came out of the general fund as well. Then um, later on that evening, remember I told you guys that my family or some folks in my family, we were going to an escape room. Guys, we had a ball at the escape room, but your girl didn't have too much fun because I was so tired. After spending all of those hours at Kosai, then having to come home and a half an hour later, leaving right back out to go to the escape room was a little bit much for me. But we really enjoyed the escape room. We were able to get out of it before our hour was up. And we are definitely going to do an escape room um, again together. But besides that, the escape room had already been paid for probably a month and a half, two months ago. After we left the escape room, guys, we went to this restaurant called The Rail. And um, we spent $115.01, and that did not include the tip. I actually, my husband um, gave a tip with cash because I didn't know. My brother told us that with some restaurants, um, with waitresses, when you tip them, if you use your credit card, the restaurant does not pay them until like maybe the week or whenever they get paid. Um, whether it's once a week or every two weeks, whereas if you pay um, tip them in cash, they get to take the money home right away. So we're going to remember that going forward because we would rather them have their tip money right then versus them having to wait to receive it on their check. And the young lady really appreciated that. So just as a FYI to you guys who tip when you go out. Um, so the rail was really, really good. And then next, we're going to skip to Saturday, which was the 6th. I went and got my nails done. That came out of the self-care binder, guys, and that was $71. Um, I did Walmart grocery pickup. That came out of my grocery envelope. That was $96.73. Pizza and subs for dinner. I took the 40 out of my dining out envelope. And it came up to like 53 and some change. So I took 14 out of my allowance envelope to um, 
accommodate for the rest that we needed to pay for that. And then on Sunday, guys, I had to get my gas for the week. So I went to Speedway and spent $41.23 to fill up my tank. And then on the 10th, I had to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. That was $31.27. Now, I guess you guys can see these little check marks right here. These little check marks right here just basically means that I loaded the, re the receipt for these items into my Fetch Rewards. I used to um, promote Fetch Rewards all the time, but I don't do it as much because they don't give as many um, points anymore. I will put my rewards um, code on the screen and down in the description box so you guys can check it out. But if you don't know anything about Fetch, basically with Fetch, all you do is scan your receipts. You will receive points. Once you get up to a certain amount of points, you can redeem them for gift cards. You can redeem them for all types of stuff. I've been using Fetch for years, guys, and I have received a lot of gift cards. And I think it's a great... Um, program to have because it's free and all you're doing is downloading receipts to get free gift cards um but what we are going to do now since we are done with the check-in so what we are going to do now since we've gone over the expenses for the week we are going to go ahead and move to my weekly check-in and go over these numbers now for groceries for the week we started out with 140 dollars we spent 128 so I should have in my envelope $12. For dining out, guys, we spent the entire $40. I do not have any money left in my envelope. For allowance, I spent $15. I had $15. I spent $14. I should have $1 left in that envelope. For home goods, I put $10 in the envelope for the week. I did not spend any, so I should have $10 in that envelope. And for gas, guys... I put 50 in that envelope. I spent 32. I should have eight left. So we should have a total of, let's see, 12, 1, 10, and 8. We should have a total of $31 going into next week's Tiny Tuesdays. So let's go ahead and get out my everyday spending wallet. Okay, guys, before I get out my everyday spending wallet, I do need to get the money and put it in the cash tray, y'all. I totally forgot about that. So we are going to actually go to week two of my binder and pull out my money that we are going to be stuffing today. And today, guys, we are going to be stuffing a total of $393. Let's count it and get it into the cash tray. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 2, 3. 393 dollars. Okay, let's go ahead and get out my wallet now. Let's go ahead and pull out my everyday spending inserts. Now, in groceries, guys, we have 10, 11, 12. Dining out, we don't have anything. Allowance, we have $1. Home goods, we have the same 10. Whoops. Gas, we should have what? 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, let me get my um, coin jar really quick. Okay, guys, I always forget about this dang on jar, but let's go ahead and get out the change and put it into the coin jar. This bad boy is starting to fill up. But like I told you guys, this just goes into a bigger container for our grandkids. I'm not going to even be using this money, but we're going to take and put this money in here for my Tiny Tuesdays, and I'm going to set this off to the side, and let's go ahead and um, put the money in my um, wallet. So groceries today is going to get 140 51 20 and 40 Dining out is going to get 40, 20, and 40. Allowance is going to get 
15, 10, 15. Home Goods is going to get 10. I'm really thinking about getting rid of Home Goods because I hardly use it, but we will see. And then lastly, we have Gas Guys, which is going to get $50. 20, 40, and 50. And guys, that is it for my everyday spending money. We're going to put this back in my wallet. And we're going to move on to my high priority sinking funds. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and move into my high priority sinking funds. And the very first one is back to school. Back to school is not getting anything. I am currently doing a savings challenge where I will put some of that money saved into this um, sinking fund. But back to school was um, fully funded last month. I am currently working on t um, the school year 2025. So. Subscriptions today is going to be getting $1. That takes subscriptions to 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Subscriptions is another one that has been fully funded. I'm working on next year's um, Filmora subscription. Thanksgiving is going to be getting $5. And that takes Thanksgiving to 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 27. So 227 dollars, guys, and the goal is 300. Next, we have escrow. Escrow is going to be getting 10 dollars. That takes escrow to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65. Candle day. Candle day today is going to be getting $5. The goal for candle day is $2.50. Candle day now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 28. $228, guys. Next, we have car tax. Car tax has been fully funded. I'm working on next year's go. Today, it is going to get $1. Car tax now has one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we have car insurance premium. My husband and I are six months ahead on our monthly car insurance payments. Um, we are working on the next six months. Today, car insurance premium is going to get $34, so 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this takes car insurance premium to 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 1, 2. $202 for car insurance premium. And lastly, in my high priority sinking funds, we have Christmas. Today, Christmas is going to be getting $10. And this takes Christmas to 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270. 290, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3. $483, guys. The goal for this is 500. So we are almost done fully funding Christmas. Guys, now what we are going to do is move to my savings challenges. Okay, guys, I am back. Before I get into stuffing my savings challenges, I wanted to real quick go over last week's this or that question and the results of that question. And the question was, do you prefer the spring season or the fall season? Thank you guys so very much who answered that question. I really, really appreciate it because commenting on my videos really helps me a lot and it helps to keep us engaged. And I love reading you guys' responses. Now, 
29% no. 29 of you voted. And what I wanted to do really quick was highlight two of our family members' comments. The first one comes from Jenny Hill, 5794. And she states, hey, Ray, I really enjoyed the video. I prefer fall because of the crispness of the air and the beautiful colors. Those are two of the reasons why I like fall as well, Jenny. Thank you so much for your response. And the next um, response comes from Tamika Jones, 6970. And Tamika stated, hey, Ray, I like the spring since I was born in April. Great video. Thank you so much, Tamika, for commenting on my videos. And just as an FYI, guys, T Tamika has been a longtime supporter of my channel, and she is always commenting on my videos. So, Tamika, thank you so much for your support. Now, really quick, guys, I want to go ahead and give the winner of last week's question. Drum roll, please. And the winner is Fall. Fall received 21 votes and Spring received eight votes. Now, this week's question is, and guys, I was talking about pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie during my Save Day Sunday video um, because I have a new savings challenge that I just put out. It's my small savings equals big wins bundle number five. And it's the fall edition. So if you guys have not checked out my July drop, make sure you do so in my shop. I do have a 15% discount going on right now on all of my items except for my new July items. So make sure you guys check it out. But in that video, I was talking about how I like sweet potato pie. So I was thinking that would be a good question of the week. So my question to you guys is, do you prefer pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? I prefer sweet potato pie because it is so good. It's what I grew up on. To me, pumpkin pie can be a little bland. I have tasted some good pumpkin pie, but to me, nothing compares to sweet potato pie. So let me know down in the comments, guys. Do you prefer pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into stuffing or savings challenges. The very first one is the quarterly challenge, and we are on the fourth quarter of the year. We are almost done with this challenge. We are on the month of November, and the goal for the month of November is $182, and today we are going to be putting $40 into this challenge, so we are going to do $20 and $40, and let's see where this takes us to toward the $182 goal. We got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10. $110, guys, so we are almost there. Last but not least, guys, we have the My 2024 1K come up. And, guys, I'm still getting questions about when I am going to put this back out. I am not going to put this back out until the end of the year. And it's actually going to be a 2025 version, just as a FYI to you guys. But it will not be in my shop anymore until the end of the year just as an fyi we are currently on the month of july and last week if you guys can remember we finished off this challenge we are on the second challenge within this month and it is this one it has all of these cute little icons now each icon is worth five dollars today we are going to be putting 20 30 I don't know why I got this $2, but I'm going to leave it there. I'll put it in Tiny Tuesday. This should uh, be only be $30 going into this challenge. So we are going to color in, what is that, um, 30. So that would be five icons. So let me go ahead and color those in, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've colored in one, two, three, four, and five for a total of $30. So we are going to add this into what we currently have and see where that takes us. We have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 60 dollars in the July savings challenge. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. 
If you're new to my channel and you're liking what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave because we would love to have you here. Guys, I will talk to you on Sunday during Save Day Sunday. Have a great rest of your week and a wonderful and safe weekend. God bless. Bye, guys.